Hello Aries viewers. So I'm going to be looking into your situation. This could be a past person, an ex, could be um, someone you're currently talking to, somebody new coming in. We'll just see how the cards play out. the Aries that are watching this what do I need to know about your love life tell me what the current situation is tell me what the current situation is It looks pretty good overall. Um, got the Four of Swords, the Tower, the Three of Swords reversed. So reverse, that's a good sign. Knight of Wands, uh, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles. So I'm in Aries too, so it's easy for me to connect to you guys with these readings. Um, I think I tell my, you know, our stories are similar. I'm in the same group that I read for when it comes to the Aries. So I feel like you've been in a lot of pain. Um, I sense a lot of loneliness, isolation for this group right here. You know, with the Four of Swords and the Tower, I keep, I hear, I'm hearing this song popped up in my head. What is it? It's No More Tears Left to Cry. It's like you just, there's a certain situation where it's like you just, you, you're still hurt, like you're not okay with it, but it, it feels like you're almost numb to some degree. It's like you've been upset and you've been frustrated and, and dealing with a certain situation for so long that I almost feel like you just don't really have the... It's not like you're over it, but it's almost like you don't have the energy to cry over it all the time anymore either. It's like you're, you're still upset. You're just kind of all cried out, you know? The last reading I was getting that you had a really strong connection with somebody, it's like you both just wanted to be close to each other, but there was so much pride and miscommunication. But um, your person's guides were basically showing them, you know, who you are and showing them the nature of the connection and, and trying to urge them to trust you and to open up to you. Um, and I feel like things might have might be opening up for you guys, but I feel like there was also a tower moment that just happened for you. Maybe just something you found out or just frustration or just something that came in and kind of upset you and you just feel like you're upset, but it's like your heart hurts, but you just there's so much going on right now in the world, I guess, that it makes it almost hard to, to it's just it's a strange energy. I, I'm trying to put my finger on how to describe it. It must feel like your person is coming back around, but it's just not as easy as you'd hoped it'd be. You know, it's like kind of like they, can't, it's kind of like you were in this like isolation, this lonely phase, and you're just, like I said, you're all cried out, but with the tower, it's almost like, I feel like that was like news, or that was just, that could also just be your own frustration, just being sick of crying, sick of the situation where it just kind of, you reach that lowest point and kind of just hit rock bottom with, when it comes to this situation. Um, you know the pain was just too much but yeah I do almost wonder if like your person is coming back around but it's like they came back in but they, there was some news that came with them or it's just emotional I feel like the connection between you guys is really emotional it gets very it's very intense right now I don't feel like it's I mean, it almost feels stagnant because I don't know if you guys are, ta are completely talking or not or just talking a little bit but it's almost like there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Like there's, there's still a lot of passion in this situation, even though you're tired. Does that make sense? And this could be, um, you know, for a lot of you, it's a lover most likely, but for some of you, it could be a friend or a family member even that you were close to. So it's just however it plays out for you. And again, these, these readings can be female, female, male, 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 female. So it's however it resonates for you. Don't get too caught up on the wording. 
With the Knight of Wands here, though, with this card right here, I feel like you're getting some of that, that fiery Aries passion back. So if something's been stagnant, I feel like a tower moment just came in, and now things are shaken up again. Um, so things are going to start moving again. And, I mean, it might be messy. It, it might be messy. It's going to be, there might be anger. There might be confrontation. There might be um, emotional open discussions. It's kind of like this purging process. It's, it's you know, the darkness before the dawn. It's this very raw, very chaotic, emotional, messy process that I think you're in. But you're reclaiming some of that Aries passion and that fiery energy. And um, if things have been stagnant, I feel like they're finally moving out of that stagnation. And again, it might be messy. You know, you might have talks with this person and it might be, there might be some bluntness. There might be some honesty there, you know. It might not, it's probably... For this group, I'm not really getting like, hey, how you doing conversations. I'm getting more like emotion than that. It's more, it's very passionate. Um, with the Ten of Cups here, it's like you have some kind of completion here. You have, um, I think, new love. I do feel, I do, I don't know, I feel love energy here. Um, I just feel somebody that you have like this strong passionate connection with but it's almost like there's a messy history there perhaps with the ten of cups it's like completing a cycle or a phase you're at a better place the eight of wands again that's kind of similar to the knight of wands energy it's like maybe this communication is coming in and it's just motivating you it's bringing that passion back it's it's emotional but it's it's better than the loneliness and the stagnation it's something new it's something exciting it's it's this it's just this bursting passionate energy and with three of pentacles it looks like you're trying to build something with somebody and they're trying to build something with you like they're trying to you know concrete something in the physical world this is like physical world effort it's creativity but it's like people working together you know what i mean like you both want this connection but again it's messy and there might be a history there but it's it's like there's you both want to do the work i think is what i'm feeling from this reading so let me pull some more cards and see what i can get on their feelings for you So what can you tell me, so for the Aries that are watching this, what can you tell me about the, your person's feelings? If for this situation, what do we need to know about that? Like, what is what does your person feel like? What do they want? Just what is, what's going on in their, their head, their heart when it comes to you? What do they want you to know? Interesting, okay. Forbidden, deceit, conclusion, high priestess of spirit, message, meditation, choices. I think they're seeing you in a softer light. I think that if you had arguments or miscommunication in the past, I think that they're using their intuition more. Like they're trying to let go of their pride and their fear and their ego and they're actually using their intuition more. So you guys are starting to connect on more of a soul level, whereas in the past, I feel like it was just more mental. I mean, there was a deep connection there still, but your mind's got in the way, and now they're kind of, you guys are both kind of like letting that go and being more intuitive, so you can connect on more of a soul level, basically. So it's, it's the connection is deepening, I feel. With forbidden and deceit here, for some of you, this could be a third-party situation. This could be like them cheating on you or this could actually be that they're with a third party and that's coming to a conclusion and they're coming back to you you know it was something that was forbidden but there was deceit involved there wasn't you know the grass ended up not being greener on the other side like they thought it was for others of you for for most of you actually i think that this probably isn't a third party situation um i think well again it's going to depend on what your story is so there's two different groups here 
some this is a third party and that's you know seems like that's wrapping up now because they they're realizing that this karmic partner is deceitful and it's not what they want it's not for them you know they're realizing it's it's they're realizing they want their high priestess of spirit here they're realizing they want some something more emotional and and deep and intuitive and they're not wanting this karmic situation anymore it's just not it's just not safe it's very toxic and they're it's very codependent and toxic and um they're realizing that for others i feel like this could have been your connection where there was mind games or there was deceit or miscommunication and you know you had you both had your hearts on lock you know this is this is forbidden it was like you guys wouldn't open up to each other it's like you were open up to each other but it's almost like you would be open with them internally if that makes any sense like you would think about them you would dream about them you would miss them you would cry over them but in the physical world you didn't say much and same goes for them, where they might cry over you, and they might miss you, and they might have all these deep feelings for you, but in the physical world, they didn't really say a whole lot. It was more of like an astral realm, telepathic, soul level connection, like a very deep level, very deep connection, but, you know, again, your mind's kind of blocked it. Your, your fear, your ego, you know, arguments you guys had, or miscommunication, or, you know, outside conflict, whatever it was. Um, there was something that just made you guys just kind of uh, shut each other out to some degree and just not feel safe fully opening up to each other. Um, and there could have been some mind games with, with deceit here. You know, there could have been... It's like, look at her. She's like not considering opening her heart to this person. She's kind of just... She's just... She's playing... This person's playing mind games or this person is could have been cheating could have just been lying about how they feel you know not being fully honest and vulnerable just kind of maybe showing a little bit of how they care but not showing just how deep it really is you know what I mean it's like you both know it's deep you both know it's a strong connection but you guys don't say it you don't fully express it basically um, but it's a mutual connection it doesn't feel one-sided to me from this energy it does feel like the love is there it's just getting past the miscommunication and the mind games and the, the pride and the fear and all that. But I feel like if that was the cycle that you guys were in, I feel like that's coming to a conclusion where one or both of you are starting to mature. Um, and again, using your intuition is really helping because you're starting to connect on a much deeper level. You know, um, you're starting to get past all this by using your intuition basically. Because, yeah, you see we have the conclusion there. So it's saying the forbidden, the for, forbidden, you know, keeping your heart on lockdown, them keeping their heart on lockdown, the deceit, the mind games, the fear, the ego. Um, that's all, that, that phase that you, what your relationship was in is coming to a wrap up now. That phase of your relationship is ending and you're getting into the high priestess of spirit energy, which is, you know, intuition, um, raw emotion, passion, vulnerability. It's just, look at her. She's just very... See how gentle and, and vulnerable and open she is? She's not. Look at how different that energy is. You know, same person, but different energy, different phases, basically. I'm feeling that... So I think you guys are going to get a message. I think you guys are going to be messaging each other. It could be drunk messaging, too. You might have a drunk message coming in soon. I feel like you guys are going to be having these honest heart-to-heart -heart talks. There's, you're going to be learning to communicate with each other in a different way, I feel. I also think that this is how your person is seeing you. And you could be male or female. It's, it's what, you know, however it plays out for you. So just take what resonates. But this is, you know, don't, don't get caught up on the gender, but just this is the, um, the energy you know you see this is this is kind of how he this person was seeing you as more of that before more somebody who's difficult somebody who's guarded somebody who's feisty somebody well we are feisty you know Aries are feisty we're always going to be feisty but you see how different that energy is you see how she's just she's not she doesn't look oops I accidentally hit pause there sorry she doesn't look particularly trustworthy 
crap, I hope I didn't... Okay, so I, I just want to backtrack a little bit because I don't know when I hit when I accidentally hit pause, but I was trying to say, you know, High Priestess of Spirit, this is how your person is seeing you. They're seeing you in this, this vulnerable, empathetic, loving light. They're seeing your softer side. They're realizing that you're more gentle and you're more fragile and you're more open than they previously believed you were. Um, and you again, you might get a drunk message coming in. There's going to be some kind of communication, and you guys are just intuitively learning to communicate with each other. You're letting go of the, the pride and the ego and the fear and all of that. Um, I feel like there was pain caused on both sides. I feel like you hurt them, they hurt you. You might not, I don't know if you know that you hurt them, though. I feel like it was just like a silence or miscommunication or something. There were just things that were done. You guys might be talking about those things soon. Uh, deceit, yeah, so... So again, this is the same person, but different energy. It's like, that's see, this person's not very trustworthy, and that's kind of how they were seeing you or seeing the connection. They just felt like you were very guarded. They felt like you were very stubborn, and and you are, you know, but, but they're, see, they're realizing that you're, you're, they're realizing your reasons more now, I think, and they're, they're seeing you in this more vulnerable, loving, empathetic light, you know what I mean, with... Yeah, again, some kind of message coming in. I think it's you're going to be having some honest heart-to-heart -heart talks with this person. I think because they're wanting to be vulnerable with you. They're realizing they're taking a second look at this connection. They're not just throwing it away. They're actually stopping and saying, maybe I misunderstood my person. Maybe I left too soon. Maybe I got scared for the wrong reasons. Maybe this, maybe that. They're, they're, they're rethinking it, and they're realizing that there was miscommunication there, and they're wanting to come in and really just be vulnerable and open and, and have these talks with you. And I think they're meditating. They might be connecting to you through meditation also. If they actually meditate, there's just, again, a very intuitive soul bond here. Like, probably someone that you know from a past life. Could be soul family, even. For those of you it's not romantic, this could be a um, just a soul family member that you really love. But, yeah, honest heart-to-heart -heart talks, being vulnerable, being open with each other. You know, just telling the truth, finally. Making this choice, you know. I think both of you are realizing you have the choice to be vulnerable and open, or you have the chance to, you know, stay guarded. And if you do that, you know you guys are going to lose each other. And I think that you're choosing love, though. I think they're choosing love, too. I think they're realizing how important this connection to them is. So I don't think that they're willing to just let it go. I don't think you're willing to let it go either, you know what I mean? They're realizing that it's worth it to communicate. It's worth it to be vulnerable. It's worth it to put in the effort to, you know, take the, you know, take the necessary steps to, to get this connection back on track and get on the same page with each other and really understand and love each other and have that deep, vulnerable connection that you guys both desperately want with each other. Let me get some more advice cards. Just really quick. All right, so for the areas that are watching this, what else, what further advice, what's like, what's the final advice I should give you guys here regarding this connection? What do you need to know? About your life or the connection, actually. What are the, the final messages that want to come out in this reading? It's interesting, okay. I thought I got seven. I wanted to get seven. I'm going to pull one more. Okay. So, time to rest. It's That's a card about... Basically running on empty, you know, you're tired. We saw with that, that isolation and that loneliness and that, that heavy energy that we got before, and then the tower came in, and it's kind of like you start transmuting that energy. You start transmuting that pain and that darkness into just passion and just emotion and just this beautiful, raw, raw creative energy. Um, 
but at the moment it's it's kind of like you are tired you are you, you know you are exhausted you do want to escape and retreat with the empath card you might be picking up on the emotions of the collective right now might be maybe need to shield and protect yourself a little bit better as much as you can of course it's also 222 right now by the way so if you're seeing numbers everywhere like 1111 222 333 seven 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 you know those those have meaning for you and there's a lot of synchronicity i feel around your life right now i feel like you might I feel like the time to rest on the empath card you know the empath is just it's what it sounds like it's about you know empathy and picking up on others emotions and you know the need to set boundaries when necessary but considering with the with the prophetic dream card you know that's about lucid dreaming and astral travel so i think you're doing a lot with this connection you're doing a lot in the astral realm right now. You're doing a lot. Like you guys are on a 5D level. It's like you guys are very connected. It's like you're in communication telepathically. You're probably having dreams about each other. You're probably, um, you know, you're probably communicating telepathically more than you guys realize. You're probably, they're probably meditating or you're meditating and it's like you guys are sending messages or sending healing energy or loving energy or, or intentions to this person they're kind of sending them back to you too it's like you guys are just you're kind of picking up on each other's energy a lot more than you realize it's like you guys are very connected um yeah so with prophetic dream you know that's about dream, being a dream walker that's about lucid dreaming astral travel so i really feel like you guys are picking up on each other's emotions in your dreams i feel like you're communicating in your dreams there's a lot going on with dreams right now. With water spirit, that's about, um, it could mean that you have a mermaid soul. It could actually mean that, that that's where you're from. But it's also about glamour magic. So if you're doing glamour magic or any type of water-based magic, which could be baths or just healing, cleansing, um, it's saying it's effective and to keep it up. That card is also you know, heavily about lust and seduction and glamour. So I kind of think it goes along with that card we got, the High Priestess of Spirit, where they're just seeing you in a different light. They're seeing you. It reminds me of that song. Um, God, if I can remember the lyrics. If you could only see what love has made of me, I'd no longer be in your eyes the difficult kind, because I've changed... I've, I'm probably getting the lyrics wrong, but I'm doing as best I can. I think it's, I've walked the canyon a thousand times and never noticed what was mine. What you remember of me tonight, it almost makes me cry. Um, those are the lyrics that are coming to mind with this group. But your, your energy to them now is seductive. I think that they're seeing you, that you've matured, or, or you're seeing that they've matured or, or both either way however that plays out for you but somebody's just noticing that somebody's more mature and somebody you know you guys are just again really trying to let go of the the uh the fear and the pride and all the blocks in the the physical world and you're trying to you know connect on a more telepathic level and on a deeper level it's like you're trying to just push past the fear and just have these honest blunt heart-to-heart -heart talks and again it might be messy you know you might have some messy emotional discussions where one or both of you cry you might even get angry you know you might fight but it's 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 clean it's healing it's not like a bad fight it's not like a toxic fight it's more like a just things that have needed to be said for a long time finally being said basically on your end or, or theirs or both and but again match their energy so don't just like pour it all out on them i'm not saying that but I'm just saying you could find yourself in the middle of a very emotional conversation with this person is what I'm getting at. But again, match their energy. Make sure that they lead it there and it goes there naturally. Don't try to make it go there unless it's going to go there on its own, you know? But yes, your, your, your energy is seductive to them. They're seeing you as more mature. They're seeing you as more emotional, more vulnerable, more open. Um, they're, they're realizing, I think they really are starting to realize that you care. I don't think that they knew before. I think that they kind of thought you might have cared, but it's like there was so much confusion or so many blocks, and I think they're actually finally getting it, and I think they're kind of shocked that you really care as much as you do. I don't think that they fully understood it. I think they probably have their own insecurities, and so it's almost like it's come to a shock that you care as much as you do. Like, they didn't think anyone would love them like that. 
With Spirits of the Living, that card is about telepathic communication, and it's also a deep psychic bond, so that, that is what you have with this person. And like I said, you guys are communicating telepathically. Um, one or both of you could have a dragon soul. Uh, that's The dragon is also about choosing love and passion over fear. So again, this, this reading is just, I feel like, raw emotion, just passion, emotion, vulnerability, seduction um very open energy it's a really good energy that i pick up from this reading it's like cleansing it's healing it's like that breakdown you know the the light coming in after the dark after the darkness basically it's 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 very healing energy it's really good it's just messy but it's it's a good messy if that makes sense it's a really good messy but yeah you guys are choosing love over fear and you guys care about each other. You want to protect each other. This person wants to protect you. They want to always make sure you're safe. And it's going to require strength and courage to really push past this fear for both of you. To really push past this fear and just allow yourselves to be vulnerable and open and say what you need to say. And say it for yourself, you know. Say what you need to say because you because you have that need to, you know what I mean? It's like it's about you too. It's about you speaking your truth finally you know, unblocking your throat chakra, and you might need to do, maybe do some throat chakra clearing work, you know, it's, it's time to, you guys, it's time for you guys to speak your truths. If you've been, if you've been dressing different lately, they might be noticing that too. So, again, for some of you, for a couple of you, I think this is a family or a friend connect, or like a close friend. It's a very deep connection, but it might be platonic. But for a lot of you, probably for the majority of you, it's probably romantic. So I'm just saying, if this is a platonic connection, then don't. Then this card isn't for you. If if it is a platonic connection, um, but for those of you that that this is a romantic connection, then you know, sex magic and also you know, telepathic sexual thoughts, like doing that at the same, like you do that, and then they're doing it on their at the end at the same time in the physical world, and you don't even know it but you can kind of almost feel it, like you kind of get the sense like that, that you're doing it with them, if that makes any sense. There's, there's a lot, if you just get in the mood out of nowhere and you just feel like, it's like this vulnerable, like seductive, sexy energy, it's, it's really, it's emotional. It's like, it's not like hit it and quit it kind of energy. It's more like, it's like emotional, passionate sex is what I feel. And that could be sex that you guys are going to be having when you get back together too, that you're going to have that, that vulnerability again. But for a lot of you, I think that you might just be in the mood out of nowhere and not know why. And it's because you're picking up on this person thinking about you while they touch themselves basically is what I'm getting from that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's very, it's a good reading. It's a really good reading. Um, you know, honest heart to heart talks, like I said, and if you have, if you've been trying to present yourself in a different light to this person, like you've been trying to maybe dress softer or you've been trying to change the way you communicate, like you're trying to communicate in a more open, vulnerable way, or you're like, you're posting things on Facebook that kind of show your empathetic soft side, like there, cause I just get this sense that like for this, for this group, they're really, they're really noticing your mature, that you've matured, they're noticing your, you know, your soft side, your empathetic side, your vulnerable, your vulnerable side, like they're noticing that and they're really liking it. It's making them feel safe for being open with you. It's making them feel like they were, you know, whatever miscommunication or whatever happened in the past, they feel like they were wrong and they feel like, you know, maybe, maybe you are somebody that they can trust. Maybe you are someone they can really be vulnerable with. So if you're showing a different, if you're showing a softer, more vulnerable side of yourself, whether it's through posts or it's through the way you dress or the way you talk or whatever it is, keep that up because that is working on them so please let me know if this resonates and you know let me know what your stories are too i love hearing from you guys and it really helps to know what your stories are um and it kind of helps me because then i can put that intention of, of channeling i mean i'm channeling you if you're drawn to this and this is your story and it re and 80 to 90 percent resonates and yeah this is your story but um it still helps to hear other stories and just you know get a feel of what's going on i think it helps me channel too so anyway, thank you guys for watching and, and please subscribe if it resonates again. Thanks.